no coffee man. I'm not. Oh my goodness. You are funny, coffee man. <laughs> you ain't watching. Hello, Rudy. Hey, Eric. Hello, Jack Cat. Nobody's bullying me, Janie. I'm doing good. How are you doing, Janie? About to make a surprise dessert. The reason why I have you a mod, Jack Cat, is because everybody gets cloned by a certain individual. So.
and nobody wants to get cloned, so. I am making a strawberry cheesecake dessert. And I'm opening up these strawberry shortcake rolls for the bottom layer. This is for my church tomorrow. This isn't for me. Y'all are going to be surprised about this dessert. <laughs> well, it my church is having homecoming, so that's why I'm making this dessert tomorrow, coffee. How is everybody doing, by the way? Churches are like the homeless. I prefer to be giving money for food. I don't know about that, avocado. Gotta get a lot. Now you got to open up the other one. It takes two boxes. Mm -hmm. Of these strawberry shortcake rolls. I am making a dessert for tomorrow, Natalisa. A strawberry cheesecake.
trying to open up these packages. <clears throat> I hope everybody's having a good Saturday, whatever you may be doing. I want to thank you guys for um, wishing me a happy birthday yesterday. That was too kind of you guys to do. I'm in the 40s. So here we go. A decade to be in the 40s. <clears throat> Which I think would be all right. It's like saying the 20 is like the new 30, the 30 is like the new 40. Now the next thing you do you get some no bake cheesecake Philadelphia whole container of this stuff and you're going to frost these little um, jelly roll cakes with this cream this no bake filling so that's what I'm going to do next I'm going to take a whole entire carton of it. So what I'm going to do is spoon little by little. Hurry. It's like you're going to frost it like a cake. This is like frosting a cake. You gotta go on the sides of it too. You want every bit of this goodness.
my hands are clean. that frosting on the sides pull this it's going to be a little complicated tricky to frost the sides but I know that you can like work your best to get it frosted This is like frosting a cake. <laughs> this dessert that I'm making, I'm going to make again for the summer. This is just a test run. I'm very being honest about it, too. I am going to make this dessert again. And I think this test run is going to be... Um, Give or take, okay. All right. Mm. And that's how you frost that part. So you got strawberry shortcake rolls. And a whole container of this. <clears throat> Set this aside for a minute. Now the next thing that you're going to do is get some vanilla wafers and you're going to crush them up in a little baggie. So you're going to sprinkle some vanilla wafers, crushed up vanilla wafers. So you're going to use about every bit of the these cookies. Thank you. 
I get loud, so I'm going to mute. It's not that loud. You're just crushing it up a little bit. Now you have crushed up vanilla wafers. You can use, um, if you can't find vanilla wafers, you can use graham crackers. Crush up some graham crackers and um, sprinkle on top if you prefer graham crackers instead of vanilla wafers. Making a big mess. That's okay. You got your crushed up graham cracker crumbs or vanilla wafers, whatever you choose. <clears throat> oh, my water went out. Now for the next layer, you're going to have some Cool Whip and a box of strawberry gelatin, and you're going to mix those together.
You're going to mix it very, very carefully. It's going to turn like a pinkish, like a pinkish color. But it's going to be pretty. Just going to mix it all together very carefully. You could do this in a bowl if you prefer, but I'm going to go very, very carefully here, mixing it. It's going to be pretty. This is going to be yummy. Gotta mix everything together really, really well. Until you have no more pink, I mean, white showing. Until all the white is gone, you can spoon it on. Now you're just going to, you don't have to decorate it with the sides. You're just going to spread this mixture out so there's no um, seeing the, the graham crackers or the um, vanilla crack, vanilla wafers. I'm going to smooth it out very carefully. Mm-hmm. 
All right. That's your next layer. What do you guys think so far? y'all think about this so far hello sherry when is mary cooking the whole food whole foods take a plate yeah yeah now i got a container of strawberries I'm going to be slicing to put on top of the Cool Whip mixture. You're going to decorate it with strawberries. And you're going to be overlapping the strawberries too. So you got to have Sliced strawberries, fresh strawberries. I think this is going to be a really neat dessert. <clears throat> and very pretty, too. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is going to be a pretty dessert.
Now for the finished product, you're gonna put these sliced strawberries on. Your cake. Just like you're decorating a birthday cake. You can overlap it if you want to. If you have plenty of strawberries left over, you can overlap. And if you have any leftover strawberries, you can... And if you don't want to overlap, you can eat the strawberries. Fresh strawberries. I don't think frozen will straw strawberries will work. Smells really, really amazing. But decorate the strawberries any way you want. It's going to be perfect. I think I got some leftover strawberries. Which is okay. I can make room for some empty spaces. overlap if you want to or not to Gonna be a pretty dessert, I truly believe. And that's your finished product. What do you guys think? This is a strawberry cheesecake dessert. It's a cake. Strawberry cake cheesecake dessert. 
Would you guys eat this or not try it out? Mary's Strawberry Delight. Well, it's, you can call it that if you want to. <laughs> Everybody at Mary's Church. <laughs> Shan Camp. Isn't that pretty? I think my church is going to like this dessert. I truly believe it. Because you guys don't know, I'm going to make this again for the summer. Yeah, they are a city show. They're definitely lucky to have me. <clears throat> Hello, Bev. Hello, Caterpillar. That was dinner we're going to make for dessert, Roy. <laughs> Now, I haven't demolished it, avocado. It's going to be in the refrigerator to get cold enough. Uh, Natalisa, I uh, saw the video of on Facebook Reels from a, from a blogger. She made it a long time ago, I think a year ago, last probably last year. I'm not sure, I'm guessing. Um, I just saw it and it looked really, really yummy. The video, the Facebook reels. <clears throat> and I wanted to try it out. I'm, at, I'm testing it. So this is just a test of on this dessert. I've never made this dessert. Uh, no thanks, Jack. I don't do that. <clears throat> Hello, Telegraph. Coconut Telegraph. You prefer savory over sweet? Oh, you're welcome, Natalisa. Well, I didn't get any presents. I just got birthday cards 
from friends in the mail. Hello, Bev J. Hello, Nick and Tom. I don't think she's dead, Nick of Time. Avocado, since you saw me making this dessert, are you going to try this dessert out? Yeah, I got a few birthday cards from friends. So, wishing me a happy birthday. <laughs> oh, thank you, um, Shan Camp, for the birthday wish. Never say never, avocado man. Well, um, if you get a pen and paper, you could uh, write the stuff down, avocado. Let me know when you get a pen and paper to write it down. Hello, professional paranormal research. Hello, hello. Uh, no, Jack. I don't eat animals. The only animal food that I eat is chicken. <laughs> Fried chicken. And it's mainly done at a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, Natalie's I know, right? You got a pen and paper and you're laughing about it, avocado. <laughs> well, don't you eat chicken too, Keith? Baked chicken, fried chicken. I've eaten frog legs before and they taste like chicken. <sighs> Gotta laugh. Oh my goodness, Keith. Are you really wanting the recipe avocado or are you just teasing me? Because you can rewind this and look back at the ingredients. I'm not doing a panel today, you guys, so I'm sorry if anybody wanted up on the panel. No panel today. You think Keith wants the recipe avocado? Well, I don't know if he does, but you can rewind the YouTube and watch it. Check. <laughs> Maybe I think avocado wine. T 
he he's in the UK. And I'm, I don't think he wants to date someone that's too far. I'm in the USA. Avocado lives in the UK, United Kingdom. No, Jim, I'm not Maddox Jim. Hello, Maddox Jim. My grandfather used to say chicken was a poor man's steak. That was after the accident, though. <clears throat> Mary can have her kick of the litter. Hello, the Deuterino. I don't have a I don't have that Max Maddox Jim. How are you, the dude Reno? I hope you're doing well uh, today. I turned 40 yesterday, the dude Reno. Mary, I think Gotti has a crush on you. Just saying. What is it with you guys thinking other guys have a crush on me when I don't have a crush on them? Ugh. No. <laughs> Mary Keith wants to fly you to Ireland. Oh, thank you, Roy. It's for my church tomorrow. It's not for me. It's just my church is having a homecoming. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, how do you want me to be your wife? Americans love Ireland. They don't care about England. <laughs> Roy, no, I'm not. I'm not doing that, Roy. I'm not giving people diabetes. This dessert that I just made, Roy, is not for me. I'm telling you. It's not for me. <laughs> I don't need this dessert. Mary, don't, don't you love a traditional fried bologna sandwich? I'm not a bologna person, a uh, caterpillar. Ugh. That looks like greasy and rubber. Ugh. Yeah, I know you're kidding, Roy. <laughs> uh, Mary, say break or break one nine one nine. Avocado wants you, Mary. I feel it. I see it as victory when people don't want. To come to England. It's country and delicious. Yeah, I know. It's famous here too, Caterpillar. A lot of people eat it. But I'm not a fan of fried bologna. Keith is stroking his... Oh, my God. Avocado. I'd rather have, like, ham and cheese. Instead of bologna. Ugh. Well, I'm sorry you're hearing the buzz, but I don't. Bzz. 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 
Man, who's your chat crush of all times? Oh, goodness. You really want to know? You really want to know, Jack? My chat crush is AP. I knew Natalie's so would be like, yes. <laughs> Yeah, AP, Death Row. You've seen him in JC's chat. He lives in New Zealand. That New Zealand accent just got, got to me. I love how he talks. Lisa. No, AP is not that avocado. He likes women. He only likes a certain type of women. Asian. Italian women. <laughs> I like the bad boys. <laughs> Well, I'm going to be ending this so I can do other things that I have to tend to. Thank you guys for stopping in and watching me make a surprise dessert.